WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We the Dow Industrials finish up 619. NASDAQ was up 127. S&P's up 67. It's some selling coming into this close, folks. Uh, bottom line, these look like big numbers, but these aren't big numbers uh, compared to how we uh, went downtown. You get the gold contract. Gold contract up 14, uh, down $14.50 trading at 1769 an ounce. We get uh, the silver market up by uh, 8 cents, 22.38. Light sweet crude. Up uh, back and a half, sixty-seven dollars two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. They continue to want higher price, lower yield. We had the ten-year that pulled back eight ticks, one thirty-one twelve. Thirty-year up five at one sixty-four oh three, and they both want higher price. King dollar, king dollar up one hundred and eleven ticks, trading at ninety-six one forty. The euro is at one twelve. The yen is at one thirteen, and the British pounds at one thirty-two to one U.S. dollar. We get up and we take a look at the spy. What you have out here, folks, is this is that we went up with 116,000 shares. Bottom line, that's going up with lower volume. We had come down with 148 million shares as well as 132. So what I expect we're going to do somehow, some way, is they'll probably get a little more bounce tomorrow. And I suspect that's setting up the B point of an ABC structure on the way down. What the S&P has already done, it got in its lower range. The 454 is the lower range. So first it hits the lower range. You get a bounce. I suspect it's going to come right back at you. Why? Because when we take a look at this spy, uh, all these high volume lows are sticking out like a sore thumb. I mean, particularly a 421 is sticking out like a sore thumb. That is from the low of the 19th of July. And, uh, you know, it'll, you know, we'll see whether the lower. Uh, October 4th one hits, holds. That's 426. I suspect it won't hold. I suspect it will go into it with volume. Then you'll be lighting up with volume. And actually, the 421 would be a good secondary, meaning at, as how you come into volume and exactly what happens when you do it. When we take a look at the Qs. Uh, the Qs basically held up pretty good. Uh, that being said, I expect what you're going to see with these Qs. When we know when the when the NDX 100 goes south, man, it goes south in a big way. And uh, the Qs look to me like 350 is game, and we're at 389. Uh, we hit a low out here at 384 today, um, and, you know, we'll, we'll see how this handles it. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.